Will, are you okay? I'm so nervous on what to do with classes and credits and registration and extracurricular activities. I don't know what to do. Fear not, my children. I will help you and explain everything. <sighs> okay. Don't worry, guys. I'm here to tell you everything that you need to do. And live from CV, it's the registration video! It's the registration video! This video is going to explain the course selection timeline, graduation requirements, university entrance requirements, typical core subject pathways, how to read your credit check, what to consider when selecting your classes, how to enter your selections on Infinite Campus. What do I do if two classes are in the same hour? How many credits do I need of what? Do I have to grow a beard? No, you don't. Calm, calm down, okay? We're gonna go meet up my friend Sydney at the office. We're gonna clear up everything for you, okay? Just don't worry, just don't worry, man. You don't need to grow a beard, okay? It might look nice. You know I have a hormone imbalance. Hey, Sydney, come out. She's coming. Hey, guys. So is there like a deadline we need to know about for registering? Yes, there is. For all CVHS grade levels, registration will be January 17th through the 22nd. You will be able to visit with your counselor January 23rd through March 3rd, and the Infinite Campus portal closes on January 22nd. For all the incoming freshmen, there will be a presentation on February 14th. And freshman preview night will be on the 15th. Counselors will visit to answer questions on February 17th and 22nd. And the Infinite Campus portal closes on January 22nd. Now what about those graduation requirements? In order to graduate, you need four English credits, four math credits, three science credits, one of them must be lab biology, three social studies credits, two CTE or fine art credits, one PE credit, and five elective credits. We won't go into detail on the different kinds of classes you can take to earn each credit, but we will show you a list for each class credit. So feel free to take a picture of the ones you may have been wondering about. But now I'm nervous about electives. Electives? Like, isn't that when you vote? No, not that. You're thinking of an election. Oh. These are electives. Told okay. You. Now an elective is any class you take that is not counting as a graduation requirement for another subject. If you plan on going straight to university after high school, you should take two years of the same language. This, however, is not a graduation requirement for Campo Verde. I just got eight German credits. I can graduate and move to Germany now. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 well, 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 come back, come back. That's, that's, that's not quite how it works, I'm sorry. You can't just take eight German classes and then, like, graduate. You gotta take a whole assortment of different kinds of classes. So kind of like the assortment of frozen yogurt at Swirling. Yeah, sure, okay. If, that, if that's how it helps you remember. Taste the rainbow. So where do we find out how many credits we have and how many we need? Well, you're... Your credit check shows you all the requirement categories needed for graduation. It's what you have taken, earned, and what you still need. Remember that only semester grades are posted. Please check to make sure every class you have taken is listed on it and any changes need to be addressed with our registrator, Mrs. Rogers. Here is what it's going to look like. And here is a detailed example of a course description. As you can see, it lets you know if there is a prereq, course fee, what grade level, and all that kind of stuff. 
Just be sure that you take care of your, your fine art credit, your elective credit, your English credit, your mathematics credit, your physical education credit, your science credit, and your social studies credit. I won't have time to fit any of this in. Hey, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, man. There's always summer school available for people who need it. School in the summer? Yeah. Oh. Summer school dates are to be determined. It is going to be $160 per semester and will be held at Gilbert High School. Transportation will not be provided and registration will begin after spring break and will be online at www.gilbertschools.net. If you are an EVIT student, see your counselor before registering for summer school. There are also online courses, right? That's right, Holly. Your safest bet is to take your classes through the Gilbert Global Academy. On average, classes start every other week and are nine weeks long. Don't have the exact dates for each session yet, but that info will be sent out soon. Why is all of this so important, man? Why? Why? You so wanna know why, Will? Yeah, of course I wanna know why. If I didn't wanna know why, I would've just asked you. The course selections you make now will help drive the master schedule later on. What does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. We hire our teachers based on the requests that you make, buddy. So it's like a democracy. Yes, definitely. Once we build that master schedule up, we can't make any, many, many changes at all. That is why we make the changes now instead of doing it the summer before school starts. So choose wisely. Don't take eight German classes. But eight, what about nine? I don't understand the process on Infinite Campus. Well, here, let me show you. I'll, I'll take you through it. Before we get started here, keep in mind about the registration timeline. For the class of 2018, 2019, and 2020, on January 17th, your registration presentation and materials are delivered to you. Also, today, the Infinite Campus portal opens up. On January 23rd, the information is due to your math teacher. And on January 22nd, the Infinite Campus portal closes. However, for the class of 2021, that is the incoming freshman, February 14th is your presentation and when your materials will be sent to you, and your forms are due by the 22nd of February. And now let's move on to the moment I know you have all been waiting for, registering. To access the course description catalog, go to www.gilbertschools.net and click on For Parents, then click on Course Description Books Secondary. Or you can use the searchable catalog that is also available on the Gilbert Public Schools website as well. In addition to the online course description reference, you guys also have a course listing form to use as well. The course listing form provides a quick reference for all the classes offered here at Campo. It shows the grade levels allowed, if there is a fee for the course, and if that course has a prerequisite or other uh, audition application required for enrollment. Now about those classes that require a little something extra if you want to get in. Anytime you see an A list, your enrollment request will be contingent upon final approval for the instructor. Dance, Student Council, Advanced Theater, Biomed, and GC105 are some examples of these type of classes. If you are an athlete and would like to request a sports training class, please select the course number that matches your primary sport. Now if your specific sport is not listed, then please request the PE230 A and B sports training. When selecting courses, don't forget to consider graduation requirements requirements, required courses, prerequisites, applications, or auditions necessary for courses, required fees, career pathways, semester versus year long, and alternate choices. Step number two, complete your course selection form. You guys were given a copy of this form, well, right now as you're watching this video. Use this form as a worksheet while searching the course catalog and selecting your courses. Please note, it is important to record both course numbers and names for both semesters. This will be critical for the online registration portion of the process. You guys will be required to turn in this form with your online course printout, so be sure to hang on to this form. When entering course requests for a year-long course, you will need to enter the course number followed by an A for semester 1 and the course number followed by a B for semester 2. See how that examples above. Only year-long courses will have an A and a B. This will be important information to have recorded accurately when you begin requesting your course through the online student portal. What if I want an A hour? To request an A hour rather than requesting a specific class, students will need to select an additional course and place that course request in slot number 8 as shown below. When entering courses in the Infinite Campus Portal, students will enter the course number or numbers listed in slot number 8 and will also enter the course code A hour. This process will be outlined in more detail in the student portal section. 
You enter these courses the same way you entered your selections on the top of the form. Please select courses that you have an interest in and are willing to take. Not all course requests can be honored and we often have to schedule students into their alternate courses, so choose carefully. Keep in mind, if you don't choose alternates, then we choose them for you. <laughs> so, are you ready to enter your request online? Have you selected enough courses? If you have a semester-long course, have you selected another semester-long course for the other half of the school year? Make sure you've entered the course numbers for each of your courses each semester. Make sure you've included the A and B on the course numbers of your year-long courses. Make sure you selected alternate courses and you've recorded the course numbers including A and B on your alternates. And if you want an A hour, be sure you made your additional course in slot number 8. If you answered yes to all of the above, then you are ready for the next step. Step number three is log on to the Infinite Campus Student Portal. You can access the Infinite Campus Student Portal using this IRL. The default password for Infinite Campus Student is the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name, plus your birth date in the format. Step number four is to access the course selection screens. When the registration portal is open, you will see a link that will say course registration years 15 through 16 Campbell River High School. Click on this link to begin the course request process. After clicking on course registration, you will see this screen. Click on the course search button to begin requesting your courses. Once you have completed your course selections, you will have an opportunity to print your requests. Step number five is to enter your courses. You can search for courses using the course number only, so do not enter any information in the course name box. Refer to the course selection form that you completed prior to logging into the student portal. Find the course number for the first class you would like to request, and enter that course number in the space provided. Don't forget to include the A or B for each semester of a year-long course. Then, click Go after you enter your course request. After clicking Go, the course you have requested will appear to the right under the heading Select a Course to View. The screen below will then appear and to finalize your course request, simply click the Request This Course button. Now use this tab on the right only for courses that you want to designate as alternate courses. You will select an alternate course after you have completed all other course requests. Now once you finalize a course request, it will appear on the requested courses list. Repeat the process for each course. Please know that there are no schedule changes once you have met with your counselor. And that's it. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask a counselor. Brought to you by Digital Media.